Hello everyone, this is Tara with Northwest Association for Blind Athletes and welcome to day six of the seven day yoga challenge. We are so excited to have you join us and today's theme is believe in yourself. A uh, quick reminder that you are responsible for your own health and safety throughout this workout. Be mindful of how your body is feeling today, modify movements, and take breaks when needed. We are excited to share our mission through our yoga challenge today by providing life-changing opportunities through sports and physical activity to individuals who are blind and visually impaired. Our code word for this video is the, T-H-E. And with that, let's pass it off to the wonderful Marcy. Thank you, Tara, and hello and welcome, everyone. You're almost there, you're almost done. We're on day six. Good job, I'm so proud of you. Um, yes, today's theme is believe in yourself. And I totally believe in you guys. I mean, you're already on day six, so you're almost there. So you can do it. All right, I wanted to begin with a quote on believing in yourself. It says, we do not believe in ourselves until someone reveals deep inside us, there is something valuable worth listening to, worthy of our trust and sacred to our touch. Once we believe in ourselves, we can risk curiosity, wonder, spontaneous delight or any experience that reveals the human spirit. That is by E.E. E. Cunnings. All right. Well, we've been doing lots of mindfulness this week and hopefully um, by now you're getting a little uh, understanding of how, like the importance of, of mindfulness and tuning into your body and noticing the breath and noticing the feelings going on inside your body and just paying attention to those and knowing what's going on in your body helps you, it, it helps you out in your everyday life and in any circumstance. And it also helps with, with your emotions and it helps to just notice those because we're gonna have those emotions. We're gonna have those thoughts in our minds and it's just good to acknowledge them and then just let them go. And so our mindful activity today, it's on believing in yourself and it's a visualization, visualizing something that you're, that you're wanting to do a goal or something that you want to work toward. And it's visualizing getting yourself there. It's believing in yourself. And so just acknowledging those thoughts or feelings that may be there and then replacing it with what you're wanting to do. Like it's already happening. It's, it's believing and knowing that it's going to happen. The power of thought is very powerful. Okay, so with that, our mindful activity is believing in yourself. So find a comfortable position, whether sitting in a chair or sitting on the floor, or maybe you're sitting on the couch for this portion, whatever feels comfortable for you. Begin by taking some easy breaths in and out, letting your sit bones settle into the floor or chair or wherever you are sitting. Let your shoulders relax, letting yourself feel ground. If it's comfortable for you, you can close your eyes or just take a soft gaze. Or you can just let your gaze fall inward. Continuing to breathe in and out. Notice the air as it tickles your nose, as it comes in and out. 
as you breathe in, say to yourself any of these positive affirmations. I am a strong and confident person. I can overcome any challenge. I'm a very interesting person and people like me. I'm not afraid to try something new. I've got this. Take a moment and think about a goal, a dream, or a desire. Something that you would like to accomplish. See yourself accomplishing this goal, this dream, or desire. Visualize this in your mind. Who is there with you? What are you wearing? What smells are in the room? What sounds can you hear around you? See yourself in your mind reaching this goal, this dream, or desire. If negative thoughts of doubt keep entering your mind, don't be hard on yourself. Just remind yourself that you are human. And sometimes we do trip and fall. That is how we grow. Replace these negative thoughts with kinder, positive thoughts, like, I can do this. I am worthy. I can totally do this. I've got this. I can get there. Visualize that goal or dream in your mind. Hold on to those positive thoughts. Those positive, happy thoughts. Just breathe. Notice your breathing, the air coming in and out of your nose. Noticing the rise and fall of your chest as the air comes in and out. Noticing the touch of air on your skin. Noticing the weight of the floor underneath you. Bringing you back to this moment. When you're ready, you can blink your eyes open. All right, and as we do our yoga sequence today, think of those positive affirmations that we did in our mindful activity today. And I'll share with you a little secret. We're going to do some balancing poses today. And the secret is that balancing poses are my nemesis. They are a challenge for me, but I specifically chose those today because, because they're hard. Balancing poses are hard, but I know you can do it, and I know I can do it. Yoga is a process. It's a practice. We don't come to it already knowing how to do all these things. We practice it. We work on them. We get there. We, have, uh, we believe in ourselves so we can achieve those goals. And so we're going to do balancing poses today. And we're going to cheer each other on, OK? All right, so let's get going. So sitting in an easy seated cross-legged position, you can place your hands on either side of you. We're going to take a nice deep breath in. Bring our arms out to the side and up over our heads. A nice cleansing breath. And then as you exhale, let your arms flow out to the side and down. Let's do that one more time. Breathe in. Arms come out to the side and up over your head. Then as you exhale, let your arms flow out to the side and down. All right. 
Let's come on to our hands and knees. With our wrists underneath our shoulders, our knees underneath our hips. Spread your fingers nice and wide so we have a nice, good, supported base here. And let's breathe in and out of our cow and cat pose. So breathing in, relaxing our tummy muscles down, bringing our heart forward, maybe lifting our hips up a little. Then on an exhale, draw your belly button up and in towards your spine, tucking your tailbone under, and then tucking your chin down to your chest. Breathing into your cow pose. Exhale the cat. Relax your head, chin to chest. Breathing into our cow pose. I am proud to be me. And exhale. Breathing into our cow pose. I am proud to be me. And exhale. One more time, breathing into our cow pose. Relaxing tummy muscles down. This time on an exhale, lower your forearms to the floor, belly to thighs, hips to heels, chin to chest. Then on an inhale, um, begin to lift your head up as you energetically draw your palms towards your body, lifting you up to hands and knees and to that beginning cow position. Exhale, forearms to the floor, belly to thighs, hips to heels, chin to chest. Begin to lift your head up on an inhale, energetically draw your palms towards your body as you lift yourself up to hands and knees to that beginning cow position. Exhale, forearms to the floor, belly to chest, or belly to thighs, hips to heels, chin to chest. And pause. I am proud to be me and I believe in myself. On your next inhale, walk your hands over to one side to so get a nice stretch along one side of your body. Breathe into center, all the way over to the other side. So you're getting a nice long stretch along one side of your body. Inhale, walk your hands back to center and up to hands and knees. Let's do some spinal balancing. But remember that last motion that we did where we went from our cow pose down to that modified child's pose, because we're gonna combine that with our spinal balancing here in a minute. Okay, so on hands and knees with our wrists underneath our shoulders, Let's bring our right arm forward like we're gonna shake someone's hand and now extend your left leg back with toes and knees um, pointing down toward the floor. And again, you always have the option of placing your fingertips or toes on the floor for better balance, just whatever serves you today. And then exhale, bring your hands and knee to the floor, back to hands and knees and go to the other side. Breathe in, bring your left arm forward and right leg back. Toes and knees pointed toward the floor. Exhale, back to hands and knees. Inhale, right arm forward, left leg back. Look at the wall in front of you, or you can look down at a spot um, on, your, on the floor or on the mat. Exhale, back to hands and knees. Inhale, left arm forward, left leg back. Exhale, back to hands and knees. All right, we're gonna add on, or do something a little different. Breathe in, bring your left arm forward, right arm forward, sorry, right arm forward, left leg back, and pause. Take a breath in and out. On an inhale, we're, I'm gonna take you off balance a little here. Bring your right arm out to the side and your left arm out to the left. 
So going a little bit off balance here. And it's okay if you wobble. It's okay. Remember I said yoga is a practice. Balance is a practice. You work on it. I believe in you. I know you can do it. And inhale, bring them back to center and back to hands and knees. All right, now bring on an inhale, extend your left arm forward, right leg back and pause. I'm excited to try something new. And I know I can do it. I've got this. Breathe in, bring your left arm off to the left and right leg off to the right. Again, it's okay if you wobble, kind of play with your balance here. See if you can find, find that spot, that sweet spot where you feel your balance. Draw your belly button in towards your spine. Hold your core nice and strong. It helps to take a soft gaze, find a, a spot on the floor or on the wall to just point your gaze at. Inhale, bring them back to center and back to hands and knees. All right, let's try that again on the right. Inhale, bring your right arm forward, left arm back and pause. Now, on an inhale, bring your right arm off to the right and left leg off to the left. Wobble around a little, it's okay. You've got this, I know you can do it. All right, we're gonna add on a little bit here. Inhale back to center. Now this time you bring yourself back to hands and knees. Continue with that exhale and lower your forearms to the floor. Belly to thighs, hips to heels, chin to chest. Begin to lift your head up as you energetically draw your palms towards your body, coming back up to hands and knees. And um, continuing in that motion, bring your left arm forward, right leg back, and pause. Breathe in, bring your left arm off to the left, right leg off to the right. And pause. It's okay to wobble. Play with that wobbling. Find that sweet spot. Inhale back to center. Exhale back to hands and knees. Lower forearms to the floor. Belly to the oh yeah, belly to thighs, hips to heels, chin to chest. Inhale, begin to bring your head up. Energetically draw your. Uh, palms towards your body, coming back up to hands and knees, right arm forward, left leg back. We're going to do something a little bit different this time. This time, on an exhale, you're going to bend at the elbow, drawing your elbow in toward the center of your body as you draw your knee in toward the center of the, your body so that your elbow and knee are hovering above the ground and the, drawing them in toward the center. And then inhale, extend your right arm forward, left leg back. Exhale, back to hands and knees. Forearms to the floor, belly to thighs, hips to heels, chin to chest. Breathe in, begin to lift your head up, energetically drawing your palms towards you, coming back up to hands and knees. Continue with that inhale and extend your left arm forward, right leg back. On an exhale. Draw your elbow and knee in toward the center, letting them hover above the ground and pause. Inhale, extend, left arm forward, right leg back. Exhale, back to hands and knees. Forearms to the floor, belly to thighs, hips to heels, chin to chest. Inhale, begin to lift your head up. Come back up to hands and knees. Right arm forward, left leg back, pause. Breathe in, exhale, draw your elbow and knee in toward the center, letting them hover above the ground and pause. Inhale, extend, right arm forward, left leg back. Exhale, back to hands and knees, forearms to floor, belly to thighs, hips to heels, chin to chest. 
breathe in, begin to lift yourself back up. Two hands, knees, left arm forward, right leg back, pause. Exhale, draw your elbow and knee in toward the center, letting them hover above the ground. Inhale, extend, left arm forward, right leg back. Exhale, back to hands and knees, forearms to the floor, belly to thighs, hips to heels, chin to chest. One more time through. Breathe in, begin to lift your head up, energetically draw your palms towards your body, coming back up to hands and knees. Right arm forward, left leg back. Exhale, elbow and knee to the center, hovering above the ground. Inhale, extend. Exhale, back to hands and knees, forearms to the floor, belly to thighs, hips to heels, chin to chest. Breathe in, begin to lift your head up, drawing palms toward your body, coming back up to hands and knees, left arm forward, right leg back. Exhale, draw your elbow and knee in toward the center, pausing, letting them hover above the ground. Inhale, extend, left arm forward, right leg back. Exhale, back to hands and knees, forearms to the floor, belly to thighs, hips to heels, chin to chest. And pause. I am proud to be me. I believe in myself. On your next inhale, come back up to hands and knees. Then whenever you're ready, you can tuck your toes under, grounding your palms into the floor, grounding your toes into the floor. You're gonna lift your knees up off of the ground, lifting your hips up toward the ceiling, pushing your upper body away from the floor, coming into our downward facing dog. Soften your shoulders. You can either let your head just hang heavy, letting your neck relax, or you can look at a spot in between your hands. You can pedal your feet out here if you would like, lowering one heel and then the other. And then whenever you're ready, you can either walk your hands in towards your feet, or you can walk your feet in towards your hands where we're hanging in a forward fold. And rock side to side, letting your arms hang heavy, letting your head hang heavy. Draw your belly button up and in towards your spine. Keep a bend in your knees. Then when you're ready, breathe in, come up halfway, bringing your heart forward. And then exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees a lot, sinking your hips down. Ground your feet into the floor. Use your legs to stand. Straighten your legs and come all the way up to standing. Very nice, you did it. Good job. Okay, so standing in our mountain pose. With your feet hips width apart, and your shoulders. Relax away from your, relax down and away from your ears with your arms down at your sides. On our next inhale, bring your arms out to the side and up over your head. Um, arms parallel with your ears, fingertips pointing up toward the ceiling. Exhale, lower your arms forward and down. Breathe in, arms up. Out to the side and up over your head, fingertips pointing up toward the ceiling. Maybe this time you come up onto your toes, balancing in our extended mountain pose. Exhale, lower your heels, lower your arms. I am a strong and confident person. Breathe in, bring your arms out to the side and up over your head. Maybe your, toe, your heels come up off of the floor, Balancing on our extended mountain pose, pausing in and out. Exhale, lower your heels, lower your arms forward and down. Let's do that again. 
Breathe in, arms come out to the side, now over your head. Maybe your heels come up off the floor, if that serves you today. You always have the option of putting your heels on the floor. But if you're wanting to balance, let's hold this extended mountain pose. Breath in and out. Exhale, lower your arms, lower your heels. Let's do that again. We're going to add on this time. Breathe in, bring your arms out to the side, and up over your head, balancing in our extended mountain pose, lifting your heels up off the floor. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Breath in and out. Okay, so you can either lower your heels or you can stay balancing on your heels as you bend your knees, sinking your hips down. You can either lower your arms or they're extended out in front of you or you can bring your palms together at your heart, whatever feels good for you today. Let's squat down into our chair pose. And again, for an extra challenge, if you would like to, you can lift your heels up off the floor. So we're balancing a little bit more. You can do it. I know you can. I believe in you. Okay, exhale. Hinge forward at the waist, letting your arms and head hang heavy into a forward fold. Breathe in, come up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees a lot, sinking your hips down. Ground your feet to the earth. Use your legs to root to rise, coming all the way up to standing. Breathe in, arms come out to the side and up over your head. Fingertips point this, pointed to the ceiling. Maybe your heels come up off the floor into our extended mount, yeah, extended mountain pose. <laughs> Let's see if we can hold our extended mountain pose for a couple breaths in and out. I am a strong and confident person. Exhale, you can either stay on your toes or lower your heels. As you begin to sink your hips back, bending your knees, sinking your hips down into our chair pose. Again, you can either leave your arms extended out in front of you or bring your palms together at your heart, holding your chair pose. Draw your belly button in toward your spine, making your core nice and strong. We're at a challenge if you would like, you can lift your heels up off the floor or not, that's fine. You can do this. I believe in you. All right, this time instead of going into a forward fold, we're gonna be we're gonna straighten our legs, coming all the way back up to standing. Extend your arms up above your head, and then on an exhale, open your arms out wide, hinge forward at the waist like we're diving down into a nice warm spring. Hands spread at the waist, coming down into our forward fold. Let your arms hang heavy, let your head hang heavy. <sighs> let you kind of float side to side if you would like, sway side to side. Kind of like the branches of a weeping willow, they just float side to side. Breathe in, come up halfway, resting your palms on your shins. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees a lot, sinking your hips down. Root to rise, ground your feet into the earth, coming all the way back up to standing. Breathe in, arms come out to the side and up over your head. Maybe lifting your heels up off the floor into our extended mountain pose. Let's see if we can hold our extended mountain pose for three breaths in and out. Strong and confident person. I've got this. I can do it. Exhale. Lower your heels if you would like. Bend your knees, sink your hips down. Coming into our chair pose. Again, you can bring your hands to your heart if that feels good for you. Let's hold our chair pose. Drawing your belly button in towards your spine. On your next inhale, straighten your legs, 
and all the way up to standing. Now extend your arms up above your head, fingertips pointing up toward the ceiling. Then on an exhale, open your arms out wide, hinge forward at the waist like you're diving into a nice warm spring. Coming down into a forward fold, big swan dive. And sway side to side. We'll go through this one more time. Breathe in, come up halfway, finding that flat back, bringing your heart forward, resting your hands on your shins or above your knees. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees a lot, sinking your hips down, grounding your feet to the earth. Use your legs to root to rise. One more time. Breathe in, arms come out to the side and up over your head, lifting your heels up off of the floor, coming into our extended mountain pose. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Draw your belly button in toward your spine. Hold it a little longer, maybe for four breaths in and out. You've got this, I know you can do it. Almost there. You've got it. Okay. On your exhale, you can lower your heels here if you would like. As you bend your knees, sinking your hips down. You can bring your palms together at your heart, holding your chair pose here. You've got this. I know you can do it. Draw your belly button in towards your spine, holding our chair pose. All right, are you ready? Begin to straighten your legs, coming all the way up to standing. Bring your arms up above your head, fingertips pointing up toward the ceiling. And now exhale as you swing your arms out to the side and down, coming into a forward fold. Big, huge swan dive down into this nice warm pool. Swing side to side. Breathe in, come up halfway, finding a flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees a lot, sinking your hips down. Use your legs to root to rise all the way to standing. Good job. Excellente. I knew you could do it. All right, let's do some more balancing poses. Yay. Okay. Um, this next little flow we're going to do, we did on day two, so we're going to go over it again. Standing in our mountain pose, we're going to be shifting from balancing on our left leg to our right leg. So, um, take a nice cleansing breath in and out. <laughs> and then on your next inhale, bring your arms out to the side and up over your head and as you do this begin to lift your right heel up off the floor and as you bring your palms together above your head lift your knee up off the floor or lift your foot up off the floor balancing on your left leg bring your left knee up then on exhale lower your hands to your heart and lower your foot this is not easy for me either just so you know <laughs> Okay, so let's try that on the left side. Also in preparing to go to the other side, like my right leg, I'm squeezing my glutes, I'm tightening my thighs, I'm preparing, I'm, I'm imagining that there's all this sand just draining down the right side of my leg, grounding my leg into the floor, keeping it nice and strong. Okay, so let's try this again. Breathe in, lower your arms down to the side, and out and up, Begin to lift your left heel up off the floor. And as your palms come together above your head, lift your leg, your left leg up off the floor, bending your knee. And on an exhale, lower your hands to your heart and lower your left leg. And let's try that again on the right. Breathe in, lower your arms down to your side, out and up. Hands come together above your head, draw your knee up, and then exhale. 
lower your hand, lower your foot. Okay, let's try that on the left. Breathe in, bring your arms down, out and around and up. Bring your palms together above your head, drawing your knee up. Exhale, lower your hands, lower your foot. Just so you know, my leg's going up and down as I'm trying to balance on it. So no worries if you're wobbling too, because we've got this, we can totally do it. Let's do it again on the right. Breathe in, bring your arms down, out and up. Right leg comes up, exhale, lower your hands to your heart, lower your right leg. <laughs> Breathe in, do it on the left. Arms come out and up, left knee comes up and hands come together. Exhale, lower your hands to your heart, lower your left, left leg. All right, we're gonna try this again on the right, but this time let's see, like once our hands come together above our head, you can lower your hands to your heart, but I want you to keep your knee Let's see how long we can hold our knee up in the air. We'll try that, okay? So let's try that. So it's beginning with our hands on our heart. We're gonna shift our weight to our left. On an inhale, lower your arms down, out. Palms together above your head, bring your knee up. And on exhale, lower your hands to your heart. Let's see if we can hold our knee up. Ah, mine's coming down, darn it. <laughs> Exhale, lower your hands, lower your foot. We can do this, I know we can. All right, let's try this again. Shift your weight to your right. Breathe in, arms come down, out and up. See if we can hold our knee up. Find a soft, find a gaze, a trusty point to look at. All right, exhale, lower your foot, lower your hands. We'll try that one more time on each side. <sighs> okay, breathe in, bring it, well, shift your weight to your left, squeeze your left glutes, get your left leg nice and strong, draw your belly button in towards your spine. Okay, inhale, lower your arms down, out and up. Palms together above your head. Exhale, lower your hands to your heart, but keep that knee up if you can. It's okay if you touch your toes down for a second. Try and balance on that left leg. And exhale, release. Let's try that on the left. Okay. Breathe in, arms come out to the side, and up overhead, palms together above your head. Exhale, hands to heart. Let's see if we can keep our knee up. And it's okay if you have to tap your foot down because that's what I'm doing. And I'm wobbling, but it's okay. We've got this. We can totally do it. I believe in us. Exhale, lower your hands down and shake it out. Shake it out. Get all loosey goosey. Good job. Okay, let's come down to the floor. Get all comfortable down the floor for a second. I'm gonna grab a drink of water. Actually, um, no, just stay sitting on the floor with your knees bent. So the feet on the floor. We're gonna do another balancing pose here in a minute, but. Um, for right now, we're going to loosen up our back a little. We're going to do some seated cat cows. So sitting on the floor with soles of feet on the floor, knees are bent. I have my hands rested on my thighs, or on my hamstrings, I mean, under my thighs. Take a nice deep breath in, drawing your belly in towards your thighs, letting your back get nice and tall. On an exhale, Lean your back toward the wall behind you as your arms begin to extend. Draw your belly button in towards your spine. Tuck your chin down towards your chest. And pause. And just hold this position. Breathe in, drawing your belly in towards your thighs. Letting your back get nice and tall. On an exhale, begin to lean your back toward the wall behind you, extending your arms, draw your belly button in toward your spine, and then chin to chest. Good 
and pause. Breathe in, draw your belly in towards your thighs, letting your back get nice and tall. Let's do this one more time. On an exhale, begin to straighten your arms as you lean your back toward the wall behind you, rounding out your shoulders. Draw your belly button in toward your spine and chin in toward your chest. And pause. Breathe in, draw your belly in towards your thighs. <sighs> and release. Okay, so I was getting you prepared. We're gonna be going into some boat pose here. Okay, so in moving into our boat pose, we're gonna do the same, pretty much the same thing we were just doing. Keeping your hands underneath your thighs. On an exhale, begin. Don't round out your shoulders so much with this one, but just lean your back toward the wall behind you, letting your arms straighten. And then from here, you can leave your hands on your thighs. And there's different ways of doing this. So just extend your left leg out. And I'm still holding on my left leg. But now release your right hand from your right leg. So then my right arm's out to the side and my left leg is up in the air. And my right foot is still on the floor. Okay. I'm just gonna hold this position. So we're still, still, we're still connected to the earth. Helps out with our balancing. Inhale, release your left leg to the floor, bringing your right hand back into your thigh, and then draw your belly in toward your thigh again to release. Take a breath. Let's do that on the left side, or on the other side, I should say. So take a nice deep breath in. On an exhale, lean your back toward the wall behind you. Your arms are extended. Now lift your right foot up off the floor, extending your right leg up, and now release your left hand from your left leg. So now my left arm is dangling out in the air, and my right leg is extended. So we're balancing on our bottom, but my left foot is still on the floor. Take a breath in and out here. Breathe in, lower your right leg to the floor, put your hand back on your hamstring, and come back up to sitting nice and tall. Nice job. Okay, so if this is, uh, if this is challenge enough for you, then you can continue to do this. Or um, if you're wanting more of a challenge, then let's keep going. Okay, so sitting up nice and tall, my knees bent, on an exhale, you're going to straighten your legs as you lean your back toward the wall behind you. This time, um, extend your right leg up in the air. And again, you can do what we did before and just release your left arm. I guess we started with our left before. So anyway, right leg forward, left arm out to the side. But if you want more of a challenge, now bring your left leg up in the air. Woo! <laughs> And you can hold on to both legs. So that helps with balance. It helps you feel more grounded, holding on to your legs as both legs are up in the air. And then you can either have your upper body um, not leaning back as much. And if you want more of a challenge, then you can lean your back back even more. So you're balancing more on your lower back, the lower part of your pelvis, rather than on your tailbone. You can straighten your legs more whatever kind of challenge you want for today. And when that feels good, then you can bend your knees, bring your feet to the floor, and bring your body, upper body back up to meet your thighs, belly to thighs. Let's try that again. You also have, you also have the option of leaving your hands on the floor and using your hands on the ground as a way to balance. So whatever serves you, whatever feels good for you. Okay, so this time we're going to begin by leaning our back for the wall behind us and extend your left leg. And you can let go with just one hand and balance that way. 
or bring your other leg up off the ground, balancing on just our tailbone, our pelvis here. And if you're wanting more of a challenge, you can let go of your hamstrings. So my, both my arms are out wide, just floating in the air. My legs are floating in the air. You can hold this or you can put your hands down on the floor or, hold, or continue to hold on to your legs. Whatever serving you today, then when you're ready, release that. Lower your feet to the floor. <laughs> All right, let's do that one more time. I know you can do it. You've got this. I totally believe in you. <sighs> nice cleansing breath in and out. Let's try that one more time. Okay. Hands under your hamstrings in whichever way you want to do your balancing boat pose today. It's your choice. Go ahead and do it. On an exhale, you know, lean your body back toward the wall behind you. And then whenever you're ready, lift up one leg and then the other leg, balancing on your, on your pelvis and your tailbone, whatever feels good. Draw your belly button in towards your spine. Then let go of your hamstrings. So you're completely balancing on your pelvis or you can put your hands on the floor or just holding on with one leg, whatever serves you today. And when you're ready, release that. Bring feet to the floor. <laughs> okay, let's roll ourselves all the way down onto the floor and give yourself a nice big hug. Hug your knees in towards your chest. You did it. You tried something new and you did it. Good job. I knew you could do it. You guys are awesome and amazing. You can rock side to side. <sighs> And you can draw circles on the ceiling by resting your palms on top of your knees, and just moving them around and around in a circle. Going one way, massaging your lower back. Did lots of bouncing poses today. You really worked your core out really well today. Good job. Once you've gone one way, pause, and then you can go the other way. And when that feels complete, lower your feet to the floor. Windshield wiper your knees back and forth. We're gonna do one other pose here. Or do another pose before we move into our ending stretches. Okay. So let your legs find stillness. Rest your arms down at your sides. We're going to move in and out of our bridge pose here. All right, so ground your feet to the earth. You can use your arms as a boost if you would like. As you ground your heels into the earth, lift your hips up off of the floor, lifting your hips up toward the ceiling. Draw your belly button in towards your spine. Tuck your chin down into your chest. Squeeze your glutes at the top. Helps keep your hips and knees in alignment. And on an exhale, lower your hips down towards the floor. Breathe in, lift your hips up toward the ceiling and pause. We're gonna do something a little bit different this time, just for fun. Exhale, lower your hips down, but don't, lower, don't go all the way to the floor. Pause when they're just hovering above the ground. And then inhale, lift, lift them right back up toward the ceiling. Draw your belly button in towards your spine. And then exhale, release. Lower your hips all the way to the floor. Let's try that again. Breathe in, lift your hips up toward the ceiling. Drawing your belly button in towards your spine. Tuck your chin in towards your chest. Exhale, lower your hips almost all the way, but not quite. Pause when your hips are hovering above the ground. Inhale, lift them right back up, squeezing your glutes at the top, belly into spine. Exhale, release all the way to the floor. For an added challenge, we're gonna do it again. 
For an added challenge, if you want to lift your arms up and back behind your head, you totally can. I'll guide you through it if you want to try that. Breathe in as your hips come up toward the ceiling, your arms come up and back behind your head, pausing with your hips um, above the ground. Exhale, keeping your arms where they are, just lower your hips part of the way down so they're hovering and pause. Inhale, lift your hips back up toward the ceiling, drawing your belly button in towards your spine, soften your shoulders. Exhale, lower your arms up above your body and back down as you lower your hips down to the floor. Let's do that one more time. Breathe in as you lift your hips up toward the ceiling, lift your arms up above your body and back behind your head. Tuck your chin in towards your chest, belly to spine, squeeze your glutes. Exhale, lower your hips just part of the way down and pause as so they're hovering above the ground. Inhale, draw your hips back up toward the ceiling. Exhale, lower your arms, lower your hips. Very good. Okay, windshield wiper your knees back and forth. Release your back. <sighs> then if you wanna hug your knees in towards your chest again, you totally can. <sighs> Drawing circles on the ceiling, massaging your lower back. Good work today. I knew you could do it. All right, lower your feet to the floor. Open your arms out wide. Oh, just kidding. Hug your knees into the chest again. Open your arms out wide. Then on an exhale, we're gonna do a lying down twist. So exhale, go ahead and gently let your knees flow all the way to the floor. You can turn your head the opposite way that your knees are facing. Releasing your back into the stretch. I knew you could do it. You are strong and confident. I knew you could do it. Breathe in, lift up one knee and then the other, hugging them in towards your chest. And exhale, letting them gently float to the floor on the other side. Then turn your head the opposite way that your knees are facing. When you're ready, lift up one knee and then the other, giving yourself one last hug. You guys are awesome and amazing. And exhale, lower your feet to the floor. Let them extend out long. If there's any extra stretch you need to do before our relaxing shavasana, please do so. Otherwise, you can either rest your hands on your belly, or leave your arms down at your sides. And just take some nice natural breaths in and out. Letting your body soften into the floor. Softening and relaxing. Beginning with your head. Letting all the muscles in your head soften and relax. Softening and releasing. And moving to your neck. All the muscles in your neck, softening and relaxing. Feeling nice and relaxed. Moving to your shoulders. Your left shoulder, then your right shoulder, softening and relaxing. Then moving to your left arm, your upper arm and your lower arm. Left hand and fingers. 
Feeling the muscles soften and release. Hold left arm together, softening and relaxing to the floor. Then to your right arm, your upper arm, your lower right arm, right hand and fingers, softening and relaxing. Feel those muscles release, softening into the floor. Both arms together, softening and relaxing, feeling relaxed. Then move to your upper back. Feel those muscles soften and releasing. Relaxing into the floor. Then to your lower back. Feel the muscles softening and relaxing. Pull back together. Softening and relaxing. Now your whole upper body. All together as one. Feeling the muscles soften and release. Muscles relaxing into the floor. Then moving to your hips. Your left hip. Softening and relaxing. Then to your left leg, your upper leg, and your lower left leg, your left foot and toes. Feel the muscles softening and releasing, feeling nice and relaxed. Then moving to the right side, your right hip, softening and relaxing. Then your right leg, upper leg, softening and releasing, muscles relaxing. And to your lower right leg. Feel those muscles soften and relax. Releasing into the floor. Then to your right foot and toes. Pull right foot together, right leg together, softening and relaxing. Both legs together, all together as one. Feel those muscles softening and relaxing to the floor. Now your upper body and lower body, all together as one. Your whole body softening and relaxing. Muscles relaxing into the floor. So you feel nice and relaxed. I would like to share a poem with you. This is called Belief. This is what I have to say to you. Know all that you need to know. You already are all that you need to be. It remains only for you to recognize and acknowledge who you are, what you know, and the power, powerful presence that is awake in you. You think of yourself as fragile, but you are, in fact, strong. You sometimes feel alone, but you are, in truth, 
connected through spirit to all beings. Believe in this connection. Believe in yourself. That is all you need to do. For all is well. Believe. Begin to notice the sounds in the room. Feel the air on your skin. Notice the weight of the floor underneath you. And noticing the touch of your clothes on your skin. Noticing the air tickling your nose as it comes in and out. Noticing the rise and fall of your chest as the air comes in and out. Bringing yourself back to this present moment. Maybe you want to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes, waking your body up. Then on an inhale, if it feels good for you, you can lift your arms up above your body and back behind your head as you give yourself a nice big stretch, stretching your arms and your toes in opposite directions, waking your body up, helping you feel fully present in this moment. When you're ready, you can exhale, lowering your arms down, on to your side when it feels good for you. Taking your time. But then we will meet together in easy seated cross legged position. When you're ready, you can rest your arms down at your sides and you can join with me as we take a nice deep breath in, bring our arms out to the side and up over our head taking a nice deep breath, brushing breath in. Then as you exhale, lowering your arms down to your sides. Breathe in again, bringing your arms out to the side and up over your head, bring your palms together above your head and exhale, lowering your hands to your heart. Thank you so much, my friends, for sharing your yoga practice with me today. The power is within you. The courage is within you. I believe in you, and I know you can do it. Namaste.